Pete's hat, John's hat. Bonjour, namaste, hola, konnichiwa, ni hao, hello. Hi and welcome to another edition of Easy English. So why do we say Pete's hat with a s to denote possession, that, that it is indeed his hat, as opposed to John's hat with that z sound. And also in today's video, at the end, I'll show you a third sound to show possession. That's what we're going to look at in today's video. When practicing these sounds and rules, it's very important to self-check so that you're confident that you're getting this right. And there are a range of programs that can show you how to do that. But stick around at the end of the video, I've got some tips on those programs and how to use them so you can self-check. Let's take the first instance, which is Pete's hat. Peter is a boy's name, a man's name in English, and very often it's contracted to Pete. We say, oh, hi, Pete, how are you? If Pete has a hat, the hat of Peter is Pete's hat, pronounced s on the end. Now, why do we say s for Pete's, but say z for John's? John's hat is the hat of John or the hat that belongs to John. It denotes possession and it's actually written down with an apostrophe. Why is one z and why is one s? And as I say later in the video, we're going to give you an example where you can denote possession using a third sound to denote possession. So look later in the video. After that, do stick around because I'm going to have some exercise activities for you to practice with some names and titles that we haven't used yet. Some of you may have noticed that these rules are exactly the same for making something plural, to pluralize something. And I do have a video about that below. There are 44 sounds in the English language. Of those, any voiced sound, except for some exceptions, which I'll show you later on in the video, um, they'll be followed with the sound z. On the other hand, if the person's name ends in a sound that is unvoiced, then we'll use s to denote possession. So let's have a look at the chart now. Some examples. So at the top here in light grey and grey are the vowels and they are all voiced. So let's take, for example, the top left there, e. If a name or a position ends in e, then we use Z. So, for example, Bruce Lee's Nanchakas. A lot of sounds that constrict the airway, consonants also are voiced. For example, Bob's hat, Mum's cooking, the Queen's hat. A few of the consonants that have a restricted airway are nevertheless unvoiced. They are marked here with black dots. We'll talk about the blue dots later. P, F, T, Th and K. Some examples would be a Mandeep's hat, Yusuf's hat, Juliet's hat, Queen Elizabeth's hat and Beck's hat, like David Beckham's hat. So I think you're getting the idea. Now we're going to look at the third type, which is with the blue dots on the chart. These exceptions, the sounds on the chart, the consonant sounds with the blue dots, in other words, ch, s, j, z, and sh. To denote possession, use the sound is. For example, Charlotte Church's 
voice. Carlos's scooter. Buzz's helmet. Doge's value. Dinesh's luggage. There are three sounds to denote possession. Let's have a practice. Uh, so I'll say a name or a position, something like that, and, and an object or something that belongs to them. It can be abstract. And then I'll leave a little space. I want you to practice and say those possessive sounds on the end of the word to see if you're correct. Uh, then you can check it against what I say. Let's go, shall we? Bruce Lee Nanchaka. So that's Bruce Lee's Nanchaka. Mum cooking. And the answer's mum's Android battery life. Android's battery life. iPhone screen size. iPhone's screen size. Boss temperament. Boss is temperament. Firefighter resilience. Firefighters resilience. Rope strength. Ropes strength. Cloth texture. Cloths texture. Randolph skill. Randolph's skill. It's important no, you're practicing these sounds correctly with a British accent. Now, there's two ways to do that. First of all, have a look at the self-check program and videos on below. But also now I'm going to make a new video, my next video, which is on how to check on your mobile, on your Android or iPhone, a very simple way to be self-checking your British pronunciation. Like and subscribe and do click on that notification bell, ring my bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, here are the answers. Well, there would be the answers. So it wasn't a big noise in the background. <laughs>